Here's a list of film-related things I've done in the past week. Shot, edited, and released two Q&A-style videos. Sent seven separate emails to my email list of filmmakers and actors. Recorded six short-form podcast episodes and released two of those. Edited, created show notes, and released one long-form podcast interview. Created an entire membership website for a film festival from scratch, including a short promo video that is on the site finalized screening dates and venues for the Cleveland 48-hour film project and planned out all of the same for Cincinnati, planned our first film networking event and scoped out the venue. Yes, I do work full-time in film, but these are all extra things outside the scope of my normal day job in film. If I wanted to also include achievements from my regular job, I could add things like interviewing and hiring producers in five different 48-hour film project cities, ordering supplies for the competitions in our more than 50 U.S. cities, facilitating judging for our 2017 global award-winning films, four separate conference calls with teams of producers from around the world, responding to numerous emails, helping get things ready for our 2018 tour to kick off, and helping to plan our Filmapalooza festival in Paris that more than 300 filmmakers from around the world will be attending in less than three weeks from now. That's a lot of film stuff accomplished in just seven days, no matter how you look at it. I don't tell you this to show off. I'm sure there's someone listening to this who has a list of items they've checked off their own to-do list this week that would put mine to shame. But for most of you, I'm guessing that's not the case. There's probably a lot of film things that you would like to have done this past week, but didn't. And I'm certainly not trying to shame anyone, because trust me, I understand. There are many times that life gets in the way. Maybe you have a full-time job that's not in film. Maybe you have kids that you need to run around and a family to feed. Maybe you have a list of personal obligations and chores that never seems to end. I have a life outside of film too, so I totally get it. I've been a single parent that worked multiple jobs just to make enough money to keep food on the table, clothes on our backs, and the light and heat on in the house. There have been many periods in my life where I almost literally only worked and slept and could not have imagined having the time to do anything fun, let alone having extra time to work on films. I've been completely exhausted and frustrated. I felt like a total failure. I've been at the point where I've pretty much given up on life, including any hopes and dreams of a life working in film. But now, my life is completely different. Would you like to know why? Would you like to know how I finally got my life turned around and how I'm now capable of doing so much of what I love every single day? It's because I finally made the decision to put myself first and focus on the things I wanted to work on. It sounds like such a simple thing, too simple to work. But I'm telling you that it does. I'm living proof. I know what you're telling yourself. I'm sure it was easy for Brian, but there's no way I could ever do this. My situation is completely different. There's no way I could ever just decide to do whatever I wanted. My whole world would fall apart around me. Well, I've got some news and a bit of tough love for you. You are not a special snowflake. We've all got problems. We're all busy. We're all pulled in a million different directions at once. But I'm telling you, the people that are truly successful at what they do, the ones that seem to accomplish so much in so little time, are the ones that have mastered this one simple little thing. We all have the same 24 hours in a day. 
The key is how you choose to spend yours. And believe me, it is a choice. But you are capable of achieving far more than you think you are. But it all starts with making that choice. For me, it was finally making the decision that I was going to work on my own personal film projects every day, no matter what. And that started off with sending one simple email to my list every day. And I'll tell you what, that was hard at first. I would stare at the computer screen because I didn't know what to say, or because I was worried that what I had to say was stupid, or that people would think I was a fraud. I had a million other things that I knew I should be working on, but I forced myself to sit down and write this email every morning. And at first it took forever. And sometimes it felt like the world was burning down all around me while I was sitting here trying to write a stupid email. But after a little bit, it started to not take so long. It started to get easier. And I actually started to enjoy it. So I got the idea to record these daily emails as a daily podcast. That took me a while to get started too, and it took a long time at first. But pretty soon I figured out a system that worked for me, and it started to take no time at all. So I, I then I got excited about all of this work I was doing, and I wanted to do even more. So I started to wake up a little earlier so I could get more done before I started my day job. Sure, this meant going to sleep a little bit earlier, but I was getting so much done and I was so happy doing all of this work in film that getting in bed a little bit earlier every night was no big deal. It was worth it because I was achieving so much and doing what I absolutely loved, working in film. For me, it's taken just a couple of months to get from having virtually no extra time to work on film stuff to where I am today. And it all started with that one simple decision to put myself first. Many of the people that I talk to that aren't working full time in film feel like they really struggle with finding the time to work on film projects. I'm telling you, this is the real secret. Give yourself permission to do your film work first. Be okay with letting some of your other obligations fall through the cracks for a little bit if you need to. It may feel like the world is crumbling around you, but I promise everything will be fine. I know you can do this. If you're gung-ho about working in film, but need help finding the time and motivation to get things done, join our emotional support group for filmmakers and actors. We're starting an entire community of people just like you that have the desire to work in film, but need some help getting to where they want to be. If you want the help, we want to give it to you. Join our community on Facebook, facebook.com slash groups slash guerrilla film school. Remember, if you want to learn how to make better films and act on camera, guerrilla film school has got you covered. We put together a free training video on how directors and actors can work together on set. You can get instant access to this free training right now by going to guerrillafilmschool.com slash training.